Hey everyone, Jordan here from BD Outdoors, and it's August here in San Diego, which means we are full swing summertime fishing. Uh, a big part of our summer fishing offshore is yellowfin tuna, um, which here typically that means fish anywhere from call it 8, 10 pound range all the way up to 40, 50 pound range on the, is kind of your average, um, with 15 to 25, really being the bread and butter fish. And again, reports are that they're starting to show up under patties mixed in with other schools. So uh, with that, I wanted to throw together a couple tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, and particularly how that pertains to private boat fishing uh, and live bait fishing, which is a staple here in San Diego. So, um, you know, on the sporties, you get kind of that bottomless bait where you can throw chum and really get them fired up. On a private boat, you know, such as ourselves here, you know, we have about a, a two scoop max, so we have pretty limited amount of bait. Uh, but there's a couple tips and tricks that I've learned that I want to pass along. So uh, let me share those with you right now. All right, so the first trick that I want to pass along is talking about scaling down your gear, specifically your leader size and your hook size. Um, so again, most times when the elephants show up, they're pretty eager to bite, uh, especially if we have good live sardines on board uh, and you find the right school, you can throw a little bit of chum on them and you can really get them going and you can present a hooked sardine to them and no problem, they're on it. But every now and then they act like they're uh, bluefin cousins and they decide to be picky and a little reluctant to, to hook or to bite a hooked bait. So the first thing that I do in that situation is I actually scale down my line size and I scale down my hook size. So starting out, um, I always prefer to, to fish a circle hook. One of my absolute go-tos uh, for everything offshore is the Gamakatsu Nautilus 2 watt circle. I mean, this covers basically all the bases. It's really well matched for our bait size. You know, typically you wanna match your hook to the bait size to these healthy sardines. This is a great choice. So that's kind of where I start. And if you're finding schools and they're, they're reacting to a couple of the chum that you're throwing, but they're not biting your hook bait, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from, call it my 30 pound setup here again with the two ot tied on. I'm gonna scale down to either a 20 or even in this case, a, a, 15, uh, a 15 size leader. And this is actually a size one Nautilus circle hook. So really thin wire, uh, it lets the bait swim a lot more freely and kind of hides itself even better. So that's always the first thing that I do is I like to just kind of scale down, right? And then what you try to do is you try to find the balance of saying, okay, we got them biting the 15, now can I try 25? Can I get them back to 30? But sometimes you do have to go to the smaller hook size, the smaller line size to get that bite. So that's always trick number one that I go with. All right, another one of my absolute go-to tricks, and a buddy showed me this a few years ago back uh, we were out fishing and we slid up on a school, uh, really marked them. And the first thing that we always do is grab our bait net, get a quick dip, chum out a couple freebies. Always, anytime that we locate a, a school of yellowfin, that's the first thing that we do. Try to get them fired up, try to get them to the boat. Uh, did exactly that. We got them to us. They were rolling on our chum. Nice fish, call it 20 to 25 pound models. So we were excited, came over hooked our baits on, got our baits on, no bites, no bites. But the fish would still, we'd throw onesie twosies, the fish would still roll. So a buddy of mine said, hey, check this out. So take your bait net, dip it in, and get, you know, a handful, three, four, five baits. Like any time, always make sure to take the time to pick the right bait. No scales, no red spots. This stuff's really good. And I see a good one in here, so I'm gonna snag him. Give him a quick nose hook. Now I got him on, I got him ready to go. And this is what he showed me, is he said, take the rest of those baits, your three or four baits, and throw that bait net in as quick as you can. Get your hook bait mixed in with it. And what it does is it kind of fools them where they say, oh, okay, here's three or four unhooked bait, a little mini bait ball, it causes that commotion that triggers the fish. And now your hook bait is mixed right in with that group and it's easier for them to fool and not see that line, not see that hook. So uh, this is seriously one of my absolute go-to tricks when they're being really picky and you got a school uh, and they just won't bite a hook bait. So give this one a shot. So one of my other tricks for really any type of fishing, but again, specifically for yellowfin fishing, 
and when they're being a little bit picky, when you first get to the zone, you know, you know it's the right water, you're seeing birds, you're seeing patties, you know there's some fish in the zone. What I like to do, one of the ways to both locate schools of fish and also to entice a bite on the picky biters is I like to slow troll live baits. So just like anything else live bait, put your, dip your bait net, get a group of them, take your time, pick the right one. This one looks really good here. Nose hooking them is my go-to on slow troll. Get it through the nose. And then again, obviously by myself, so the boat's not on, but uh, you get your boat back there, let them swim back. I like to get the baits pretty far back. That way they're back away from the boat, away from the props, you know, any ones that are being skittish or boat shy, no problem. So let them free spool. Put it just in gear. Sometimes I'll even only have one engine in gear, but literally just in gear so that you're moving forward. You get your bait back there and then clicker on. Again, it'll depend on your reel a little bit, but what you want is you want it so that when you're moving forward and your clicker's on, it's just enough for the bait not to pull it by itself so that it's allowing the bait to swim freely. And if it gets a little skittish, you can kind of hear it reacting to things. And then of course, when you get bit, you're gonna really hear it start to rip that clicker. So in that situation, again, what you do, kind of keep the boat in gear, run back here and actually go into free spool and let the fish really take your bait. You know, give it a solid, I say 10 count because when you're bit, right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So give it a nice long count. Go up, we're fishing circle hooks, so go to strike and wind tight on that fish. Nothing more needed. And we're bit.